Hi guys, welcome back to GP Reactions. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great day. And as always, thank you for subscribing. And I really mean that. It's a real thank you to everybody who subscribed over the last few weeks. Um, and I really feel a bit guilty that I haven't been doing more videos um, more often and I've left it for way too long. So I'm going to be reacting now to a track by Steel Ice Band. And this track is called One Misty Moisty Morning. Um, it's a bit of a tongue twister. And it was taken from the album A Parcel of Rogues, which was released in April 1973 and peaked at number 26. Um, it's never been released as a single. Um, so I'm kind of really interested to hear what it's about. I have recently reacted to another Still Ice Band song, which was All Around My Hat, uh, which was a commercially commercial success. Um, I have recently reacted to another Still Ice Band song, which was All Around My Hat, which was a commercial success. So I'm really looking forward to expanding my uh, musical knowledge of this band um, with this next track. Um, I do know there's another one. I think it's called Gaw Gordette, which a few people have mentioned. Uh, I'll probably get around to that eventually. Um, so Still Ice Band can comprises of Maddie Pryor on vocals, Tim Hart on vocals and guitar, got Bob Johnson on vocals and guitar, uh, Rick Kemp on bass and drums, uh, Peter Knight on strings, piano, recorder and harmonium. Um, and as, as much as I know about this song, it's very believed to be based on an initial lines of a song uh, called The Wiltshire Wedding, which was an 1680s nursery rhyme um so yeah i'm looking forward to it uh, how how much i'll understand of it uh i'll i'll let you know at the end um and i'll get the lyrics up
Well, that was really good. That was uh, still I spent with um, one misty, moisty morning, and uh, I've really enjoyed that. It was like a, a it, it was a sort of uh, somebody uh, meeting somebody and getting married, and it did feel very um, oldie worldy. Uh, I like the guitars in it. The I felt there was like a maybe acoustic and electric. I could be wrong, uh, and it was a nice uh, combination, nice contrast between the two. And uh, I'm really sort of uh, warming to Maddie Pryor's voice. So when I first heard uh, Maddie Pryor sing, it felt like a little bit shrill. But I'm kind of really warming to her voice now. It has its real freshness and uh, clarity to it. That uh, and it's just perfect for telling these um, these stories. Uh, I think I won't go through all the lyrics because I think it was very fairly self-explanatory that. Um, and, and it did, did fit in with the uh, general, uh, the note that I read at the top, which was uh, it, it's believed to be based on a song, The Wiltshire Wedding. And it does sound like it's that kind of uh, um, sort of situation, a, a wedding situation. So, um, no, I really enjoyed this track. There's not much more I can say about this. I, I'm still trying to understand if they are a folk band. Oh, I think they are a folk band. So, if if I'm wrong on that score, please let me know. I mean, I love um, folk music, but I I sometimes hate using labels for bands because I don't want to like pigeonhole a song as being representative of their entire music if they've done different stuff. So. Yeah, um, again, probably if anyone hasn't told me before the previous track, which was all around my hat, please let me know if they are actually a folk band or whether they have they branch out into other kinds of music, or maybe rock music or something, prog rock, perhaps, um, who knows. Um, yeah, and, and I'd be really interested in reading your, um, your ideas about this song and whether this song was actually taken from a 16th century um, tale about a Wiltshire wedding. Um, I'd be curious to know if there's, if there's any other stories behind this song uh, as to how it came about. And uh, is this a general theme with Steel Ice Band that they sing about um, tales that were written about in older times? Uh, again, it's another question I, I'm sort of curious to ask. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed it. It was nice. It was um, very light and jaunty, and um, and yeah, it's really cool. So um, guys, let me know what you think, and I will see you uh, next time for some more reactions. And hopefully by that point, I'll be feeling um, one hundred percent. I felt quite tired today still. Whether that's because of uh, having a vaccination, I'm not sure. Um, but I've not been too well over the last couple of weeks, really with various um, sort of fronts and stuff. And um, and I'm hoping now that we've got the sunshine back, it's going to stay with us for a while. So, yeah, have a great day. Take care and um, I'll see you soon.